Master Jeremy. I am the only surviving official ninth generation family representative of the authentic, real Tai Chi, one-legged, 587-step, big-frame, stagnant, long-necked alpaca school. Beginners, they come to my temple all the time. Hordes, every day. They want to know the basic principles and ideas of Tai Chi. Conventional answers are easy to find. Google away and you'll get identical lists from identical schools. So, to liven up the debate, I've invited someone to offer an alternative response. Speaking live from somewhere in the United Kingdom is the somewhat less titled than I, and therefore dubiously credited, but irreverent, controversial, teapot, monk. Hello? If you are ready, Mr. Teapot, as we say in our school, saddle up your alpaca droppings and let's begin. <coughs> Why are some Tai Chi classes better, or should I say, different than others? Well, first, let me say thank you, Jeremy. Call me Grand Master. Thank you for that illustrative introduction. And perhaps I should start by reminding everyone that all classes naturally vary according to style, interpretation, duration, haircut, and inevitably the personal preferences of the teacher. Having said that, Jezza, uh -oh. it's also true that whatever anyone tells you about Tai Chi, and that includes me, you will find a hundred other teachers that will say the opposite. So be prepared to shop around for an answer that makes sense to you. Well... You say that, but in the uh, alpaca long neck school, we tend to have set, established, written, engraved, soldered answers to these very questions. Exactly. And that's part of the problem, Jez. Until recently, students accepted whatever a teacher told them. But, uh, fortunately, nowadays, they can do a bit of research themselves through reading, watching, talking, visiting different schools and classes. My advice is to browse online check out classes on social media and see if the teacher's style and claims make sense to you. Remember that there's no agreement on any of this. In fact, there's not even any agreement on how to spell Tai Chi, so we shouldn't have too high expectations when searching for more important information. Fascinating, Mr. Thank you. I'm sure the viewers will be intrigued. So, listen, if you have questions for the teapot, might leave them in the comments below and do join us in the next episode in which we ask what is the difference between Tai Chi and Tai Chi and Tai Chi Chuan and Tai Chi Huan. Join us then.